<laughs> Wanna draw with me? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so let me go over the plan today and my, uh, what would you call it? I don't know. I guess it's just kind of like the little agenda I've got in my brain. So I've always had trouble like choosing colors, I'd say for marker illustrations, especially when it comes to adding backgrounds. And if you've only been watching for the last month, you'd probably think, what? Heck no, I don't get it. And um, I would kind of agree with you because for the last month, I've been making some very good decisions and I'm quite proud of myself, but I can't take very much credit because for all of those, I would draw the illustration or use a reference. And then for the colors, I would take a photo that I took or find a photo, basically eyeball those colors with my markers and apply them around the illustration. Basically, it's been turning out really, really well. And I wanna continue that and see if it's not just beginner's luck, I don't know. Basically, I wanna draw something then find a reference that fits the vibe of my illustration that I came up with and use a reference for the colors and see if that suits again, because it did once with the little bears in the forest in their sweatshirt. So I want to try it again. And I figured my vibe that I want to go for is like, I want to draw someone cozy. They live in a Hallmark movie. Everything's decked out for Christmas. They have no real concerns in their life. That's that's the vibe I want to go for. But let's uh, grab a pencil, sharpen it with my baby sharpener. So now starting off, I have two options. Landscape, which would be this sort of shape or portrait, which is the same shape, but twisted. With each of these, I'd probably want to do a slightly different composition. Like with this angle, I'd probably do something kind of like the character kind of sitting cozy. And then maybe there's a tall window. Maybe it's like a bay window. So it kind of comes at you. I should also pay attention to perspective, but yeah, maybe there's like a knee They're just sitting all cozy with their hot cocoa in a big fluffy sweater, maybe some boots if they're at a coffee shop or something. If it's a coffee shop, then there could be like a logo, maybe a big warm hat. And then there'd be lots of garland with lights. And then there's probably like snow building up on the edges of everything. But that's my vibe for more of a portrait. Now for portrait, I'd probably go with a wider window as well. And maybe what would work well here is like a little table with chairs. And then there's a character in one of the chairs drinking their hot cocoa. Maybe there's a door. Ooh, okay. And there's like the door. And we could put like the sign for our coffee shop there with the hours on the window. Now I want to see more. Uh, open this up. <laughs> That's the coolest part about drawing tiny little thumbnails is if you decide, oh, I need this to be bigger, you can actually do that. Whereas if you're drawing directly on the piece of paper you want to use, you can't expand it. You're stuck. <laughs> okay, looking at these, this one feels more warm and cozy, but I didn't add any like lights here, so. Okay, I like them both. I don't know. Let's draw one of them bigger. <gasps> but which one? If we do this one, I feel like I need to include more characters. But also it's a Hallmark movie. No one else's lives matter except the main character. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw a bigger square and we'll see what it gets filled with. I'm feeling very indecisive. I also could maybe do some real perspective here. Ooh, you know that like, remember that foldy ruler? Would that work really well here? I found her. <laughs> That draw to the other. Oh, you could do like circles. Not sure it comes in handy at this current juncture in time. The hardest part I have when like, like I kind of understand how to use perspective lines, but only as far as like making the lines and then using them. I don't know how to like use them to get the exact perspective I want. Does that make sense? We got a horizon line. So basically I want a table around here. Yeah, we're looking way too below them because now this, the little dots are too close together. I see. It's a little too distorted, I think. It's kind of cool, but it's definitely not the vibe I want. It's got certain charm to it. If you're like drawing a little ant, a little Christmas ant. <laughs> That's a bit tricky. So I definitely need to separate the dots, maybe even lower the horizon line. How do you even deal with this? That is so confusing. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm gonna try and draw this one bigger, but maybe from a different angle. So like if you're looking at it and you see the bay window more like this, the horizon line is around here. So I could put a dot here maybe, but then I want this. So the dot has to be a little further away. Okay, that would mean the horizon line's right here. So we have one perspective on there. I feel like the other one, how do I make it work? <laughs> I also need to change this window. I had it wrong. It should be angled like that. But this will be like the ceiling, kind of following that shape. I'm gonna add like a little bit of like this. 
kind of wood paneling. All right. I kind of just made up the other perspective. So I don't know if that's accurate. I mean, it probably isn't because I'm winging it. Some garland. I'm gonna put the dot way over here. See what that does for me. So I'm following one line that I already have in the picture and then I'm gonna have to make everything else match that. I wonder if we should make it so you can actually see outside. It'd be like maybe just shadows, people walking by. I guess you could put a sidewalk following our lines and then a street on the other side with buildings. We'll have a little person with a head, maybe sitting crisscross. Should we give him a book? We could put the hot cocoa here. Maybe a cozy sweatshirt or something. Maybe one leg coming off the edge here, just to kind of open up the pose. This is cute. What do we think? There's a lot of lines going on around here that are confusing me and making me feel a little overwhelmed. But otherwise, I feel like it's cute. If I really knew how to like draw everything that I wanted to, I would draw like a kid putting his mouth on the window. And then it would be creating that like white stuff from the condensation or whatever. And there'd be hands. That's not so bad, but she's oblivious. Or I could make her looking at it. I suppose that'd be funny too. But like everything else in the background, I want to kind of be like fading out into like a lighter color. Well, the only one you'd really see is this guy. <laughs> but I figure that doesn't seem like some behavior a child would do unless he had an audience. So I've given this little guy a buddy. I think this is the little brother of this girl. Oh, I have an idea. She's about to have her first date with her crush and her little brother stopped by <laughs> to intimidate her, stress her out even more. What do you think? What do we think? Not the original vibe I was going for, but it's one that gets me excited, so I can't ask for more than that. Now, what would be the best way to really show that? Can I like change anything up? I can make her look more nervous. I also just want to like figure out what her outfit is because that's something that always entertains me. So if it's like her first date, she's probably a teenager, young. Maybe she's got one of those like those like cropped sweaters with the big poofy sleeves. She can have like short hair, I think, hoodie or beanie, a little poof on the end. Definitely want it to be a hoodie. Oh, I didn't, I meant to draw her body. I like to draw my teenagers with like longer legs. I read it in a Tom Bancroft book once and uh, I don't know, it stuck with me. I feel like I see hiking boots for some reason. I don't feel like it's got like, I have a crush on this person vibe. It's more like, okay, fine. I'll give you the time of day vibe. And I don't want that. I want her to be nervous. So we'll try again. If I was just doing like the cozy vibe, this works because it looks very comfortable, but I would like to try something else. So we have body, torso, legs. I definitely want a beanie. Maybe shorten the hair even more. I don't know. What do kids wear? Clearly, I have no idea. <laughs> and I had zero fashion sense when I was this age, so really not the person to be figuring this out. Maybe if we go more with a sweater, a no sweat shirt. It's got those like whatever patterns, you know, sweater pattern. Maybe a turtleneck. You could just add a little skirt sticking out out of the bottom. Oh, here we go, knee-high socks. See, now we're getting way too beyond teen for my vibe. Maybe tights underneath here too. It's a little booty. <laughs> I think she looks cute. I don't know what age this is appropriate for. My brain has lost all sense of being able to determine that knowledge because kids these days are nothing like I was. So I have no idea. It might just end up sweatshirt and pants. I don't know. Do I feel like I'm prepared to take this to like another piece of paper? Oh, you know what I should do? I'm gonna switch to my Colerase pencil and we'll kind of draw something similar. And then I'm gonna look up a reference for colors. We can try that on a thumbnail first. So basically I'm gonna redraw the whole thing. I'm gonna need the lines again. Well, I can kind of imitate it for the most part. Just kind of lay everything out. So I'd be following the straightness of this, but also keeping in mind that so it would kind of curve and we have the window slight curve all right that's the background <laughs> the horizon line so that's like the road i guess with some buildings back there with snow on them kind of like a cute little downtown area tables outside but it's cold so no one's sitting at them Kind of a background. And then now I want to really exaggerate her emotions more here. If we're really trying to tell a story, let's have her like looking terrified, shocked, embarrassed. I don't know. Like she noticed him. How do I like write on her face that she knows this kid? Yeah, right now she just looks concerned. <laughs> foot coming off the edge. Other foot. Knees. Cozy socks. Maybe sad eyebrows, but like freaked out face. Ooh, that looks more like it. Give her the hot cocoa. 
if I put like the person here, like, hey, maybe this person bought them the hot cocoa, it blocks out the idea of having the brother there, you know? Ooh, and maybe the other character's not the brother's friend, but like her younger sister who also finds this all amusing. I could put like a coat here, like this person got up telling a story. So we got little bro, big mouth with the tongue, closed eyes, and then the other buddy giving them the side eye. Cause then we can show even more emotions, you know? Big poofy kid winter coat. Big poofy kid hat, maybe. And then a little heart in the condensation. Wait, that's probably plenty for like just coloring purposes. Next up, I'm gonna jump on, I don't know, the internet. <laughs> Ooh, see this one has an outdoor window. But you can see out the window and how everything's blue and then how everything's warm on the inside. I like that. Maybe I need to add Christmas. Ooh. This has like everything I'm looking for, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna try it. I also really like, I might steal this idea. They have like rafters with lights wrapped around them. And I kind of have a very golden opportunity to add rafters. So I just kind of go every other. And then I could put lights on it. But the roof in this reference photo is sort of purpley. So I'm gonna need lots of dark colors for the indoors. Maybe some purple grays or something. And let me make sure I label each of my swatches. We're gonna have a lot of colors, I think. Okay. Of D scatter, maybe. Basically, I'm just looking for colors that I can spot in the reference. Sort of just as like flat colors before we start adding any sort of detail. So like this color would work really well for the brick, but I don't have any brick. So maybe I can just kind of throw that in so that we have a warm color to really contrast between the blues that we'll have outside of the window. So I'm gonna use this for some of these pieces. Maybe every other. I kind of want something actually redder than that, but just as like desaturated. Close to what I'm looking for, we could try it. Just gonna layer that in between here. Just layer it over everything too. <laughs> so we're working on the inside. So I guess the character would look pretty warm too if she's on the inside. And then everything back there would be blue. Find a light blue. I want something even lighter. Those are really good, but I still want something lighter. Probably use this to just kind of lightly fill in everything that's outside the window. And then I want that other color. I think in the gray one. Color in the buildings with that, I guess. Windows. I guess there'd be snow on top of those, so I should have left that a little whiter. I feel like we could even go with. What do we think about this? Actually, now I'm looking at it. This purple might be good for the road. Ooh, that's really dark. Ooh, a little much. We might be able to blend it. All right, for the green, we're needing something very deep. These two, maybe. That one's nice. Ooh, they're both like in the right range. I feel like we're gonna end up layering them. I'm just gonna throw some in. Need some red, something deep and saturated because we're inside. Now I'm thinking the wood needs to be deeper, but I'm not sure I have like a warm brown. Yeah, but I think I want it less saturated. Like I want to brown this dark, but less saturated. Is that asking a lot? I could use this for the crosses on the window. Should probably finish coloring the windows though before I do that. Almost adding like a liner. <laughs> I don't know, might end up being this dark. We will see. I also can just layer these again. Keep deepening it up that way. Brighten it up. He said, Oh, that's too green. Yeah, this is what I mean. Should I have a lighter version of this? Nope, that's just a darker version. <laughs> Use this for her pants. Maybe her hair. Then I'm thinking we need to use some more colors that are already in here. So maybe grab the green for her sweater. Maybe socks too. Maybe just do the hat for now too. Then I'm thinking like a white color for the mug, which is going to look warm. So we need like a yellow. This will do just fine. I feel like a little maroon might look good in here. Maybe give the other person a red coat. <laughs> She's on a date with Santa Claus. No, no, no. We'll go over that with some gray. <laughs> Oop, that was not the right color for a tongue. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Sort of saved it. I'm just gonna add some blue on top of them. Ooh, this one's called Blue Frost. Let's try that. Okay, they definitely look like they're on the other side of something. And add in our little cross beams. This is where perspective lines would be helpful. 
Now I need like condensation, which I probably should have kept in mind before I added in all the blue. I'm gonna try a little Posca pan. I guess if there's this much happening on the actual window, the background can be way simpler. I also need the wind, the lights, the lights, the lights. I want the smaller Posca for that. And then we can color those in. And then I'll add in some line art. We'll see if we're in good shape. I'm just gonna add some line art though. That face. And this coat. All right. A little warmth to the lights, maybe. It's too pink on the end here. I feel like it needs to be darker. Should I try a warm gray, maybe? Go over all the wood. It just looks too cool, especially with the background, you know? I feel like I just layer everything. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking just grabbing orange, kind of filling it in anywhere that there's like lights. So maybe along here, if there's like a light bulb up here somewhere. That might have went too far, but I can go over the green again. I'm gonna tone it down and then go over the red again too. I think that kind of got lost. I think her pants should be darker. It's not really looking any darker. Some snow back here. I don't even remember what the background looked like because I can't see it. I do like the fogginess on the windows though. I just need to find a way to make it all show up a little better. I also just want to add a little contrast to the warm areas by making her pants darker and hair as well. I also need to give her some blush because she doesn't look embarrassed at all. I'm gonna try tender pink. Should I give her her coat too so you don't think that that's her coat? I'll give her a black coat. I don't know. Hold up, blending with the leggings. There we go. I think that helps. So I feel like I might be ready to draw another piece of paper. I say hesitantly. I'm not ready to make it perfect, but I am ready to try and see how it turns out. So this is the paper I'm going to use. This is the paper I used in the using every single marker in that Ahu set. And it held up really, really well. Only in a few spots did it make it to my desk. It's by Borden and Riley Paper Company. Now the question is, do I want to do full size? which is nine by 12, or do I want to cut in half? I'll do nine by six. I feel like I'm not ready to commit to a nine by 12. <laughs> I think we want half. All right, and we have a second attempt if this goes horribly wrong at the beginning. <laughs> Here we go, we're starting it off. I don't know where my reference is. See, how am I supposed to do my perspective grid when there's no room for it on the paper? I could draw it on the desk and tape it down. So essentially my horizon line is above the place they're sitting because you can see the top of it. Maybe it'd be smartest to kind of just block in the base stuff. So I want her, we'll call her Mandy here. Sack flower for her body. I already feel like I messed up. She's actually gonna be a little smaller than that. Try her looking more that way. Give her her hot cocoa, some hair. Kind of like swishing as she turns her head. This is a leg, this would be her other knee. But I kind of want her foot coming this way. I'm gonna kind of block in the window. Oh, and we also need her coat. We also need a coat over here. All of this. Okay, now I need the little siblings. Kind of want them to be right here. How do we draw someone licking a window? So you'd probably see their teeth, but not the top teeth. Maybe cross head. It's not as cute as my originals. I liked how cartoony the original one was. Maybe it's the closed eyes I don't like. I think open eyes. The problem is he's also kind of looking scared. <laughs> Maybe flatter, like deader eyebrows. Yeah, I'm thinking mittens and like a scarf and a hat. This one will have the poofy at the top. Okay, we got one kid. It's a little big compared to her. Dang, I really liked it though. But now that I know what I'm looking for, I should be able to draw it quite quickly. Also like turning the head maybe. I suppose I could make him smile more too. Probably can use all the rest the same. Same body and everything, it was just the head. If I could just get these faces right, I think they're the most important part. Like you get the face is right, no one's even gonna notice perspective problems. <laughs> I need the other kid. This other kid's a little further backwards, so let's try even smaller. <laughs> Laughing, right? Big poofy kids' coats. I oh, need garland, bow. This is turning out really nice. Not sure if I want like eyes. I probably should. I do better without eyes. <laughs> Just dots. Because I need to make them kind of round in shock. Why don't we try again? There we go. What about that? That's better. And this character back here is just thinks the whole thing's hilarious. Thinking more squarish buildings. Lights, you know. The window should be smaller. Some snow on top. A little snow on this thing. I feel like a street light or something might make sense. You know, perspective's close. <laughs> I think I will add line art next. 
though. Let's slightly erase some of the stuff. I'm gonna start with the main character here. I think I want a thicker line art than this though. This was a 0.3. I also wanna use a micron. I've just noticed that microns just draw blacker. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like if I show you the king art pen, I draw a little square. You're like, oh, that looks black. But then I put a little micron next to it. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell a very serious difference. I also have this guy if I need to do thicker spots. Start with a 0, 03, and if I feel like changing it, we will. There we go. We got that eye. Exaggerated, freaked out mouth and the chin. All right, let's get some fingers in here. Fingers there. Don't really make sense, actually. That's why I should follow the sketch, peeps. Don't make things up at the liner. <laughs> Leg, booty back here. That look like a boot. This is the zipper. That's a coat right there. Oh, here we go. We're adding in our first perspective. Add in this paneling. I guess this coat seems kind of important. Let's add this in. Zipper. A sleeve. Because we can do these because we don't want to go over any of this. Mm -hmm. it doesn't look quite as perfectly vertical as it could have been. Now we can do this kid. I'm gonna lighten him up and then draw in the lighter. Happy, goofy kid. Take one. We can see more nostril if it's pushing up against the window. I think it might make more, more sense not to give him the hat because like so far all three characters have hats. I'm also gonna move the tongue a little. There we go. All right. We'll do earmuffs on this girl, maybe. It's another warm thing. <laughs> I do have to do line art on this bows and stuff. And then the garland. I like follow the bigger like bloops I did, but with tinier ones. But I just need to do the ceiling. All right, I think that's it for the liner. Let's go ahead and erase all of the areas that definitely have line art already. And we'll start from there. I'm gonna use my reference instead of looking back at that one, I think. Oh, actually, one second. Should the sky be darker than the building? Outside window. So snow should be white. Other things should be dark. Sky should be a mid-tone, I think. So my middlemost blue should be the sky. But I'm gonna start with my lightest blue just to start this off right. If anything that's snow, I have to definitely not color. Now I feel like these could be slightly warmer, like a cool yellow. <laughs> I'm just gonna color in this lamppost. Now the building should be the darkest blue. I'm coloring it in with blue-gray. Anywhere that there's no snow on this building. Something here. This up here looks too vibrant. I'm gonna try and tone that down with this blue-gray. I'm kind of just painting with the marker. Oh, I just drew shadow of a light. <laughs> that makes zero sense. Let's do the same thing for this building or should I try another color? If it's red and it's being blued, <laughs> it would look purpley. I got this darker blue. Might work for the lampposts. I still think this is a good pavement color. So here we go. The road between them. Sounds like a novel. <laughs> it's supposed to be snow. I don't know if it looks like snow. All right, we just need to color in this other building. Make sure we don't go over any other character here. Shoes. Now she should be slightly purple. So I might just add the lightest layer of that B000 on top of her. Start off with. I probably could just use shades of blue to color her. I don't know. And their faces would also be slightly warmer though because they're by this window. So I'm not sure. Maybe use some grays on top. She has black hair since they're siblings. They have probably the same color hair. I'm gonna add a little warmth to the skin and something slightly pink to the tongue. That sounds right. Now I have to do him. I guess I'll give him the same hair color, but I'm gonna start with the gray. And it'll be darker though, because we're closer to the window. I don't think I ever picked a skin tone. YR20 looks pretty good. Let's well, doing it. Then the rest of it all should be bluer. Uh, I don't like the nose color now. It seems bluer than the rest of his face. Let's go over it with some blue, maybe. Tone it down. And for gloves, I decided those are green, but I want them to kind of be a lighter green. Oh shoot, that's supposed to be way lighter than that. We'll see what happens. Let's make it match. Is that more important than making it right? Make his hair a little darker. Not a fan of the way the gloves look. There we go. Just add one here. I'll color in the jacket, this. 
a little bit of that down here. Her hair, I think, was cool gray. Coffee mug so that it's warm white. Probably means I should use this for the eyeball too, since we're inside. And probably the coat. Her hat has some white. This for her leggings or whatnot. Now I know that roof started this color. Don't write my paper, don't write my paper. Thank you. We'll start there. Baby blossoms. I don't see why this is lifting. I guess I got enough color in between the liner and not blend it so much. Let's fill in the whole thing. And then I went over it with the more in. So I'm just gonna go over all the wood with this first in case there's some place I want it to be all by itself. It's a lot of surface area to cover. I don't think I wanna just color some of these. It's looking good. I don't know what else I used to down here. <laughs> Lipstick natural. I think that actually is it. I think I went over the coat with that morning as well. Chip away at that very red, red vibe. Warm gray. Try layering that on the coat. And I used basically black for her coat. Her boot, I think, was a copper. That's this. I guess just slowly building up this stuff. Now do I leave space for like the lights? See how that looks. Let's leave space for something else without having to use the Posca pen. I don't think that could be a bad idea. It's just gonna be time consuming. Just kind of trying to put them in randomly. Why is this part stressing me out so much? <laughs> Circle and fill it in. Now we make them both green. Hopefully that's not a problem. We'll see if that's a good idea. Just trying to add a pattern. Also on this. Oh shoot, I wanted a pattern on that. My bad. Also, this is giving me firefighter vibes that I was not anticipating. Maybe if I could just blend it out a bit. Oh shoot, exploded. Luckily none of it got on the drawing. Oh, that's not where I wanted that to be. I don't know if there's anything fixing that. Just make the whole thing darker. That was one juicy marker. I think we're just gonna have to go over all this. I don't like it. That's good for the blush. Why am I like at a loss for what I usually use for skins? Start with this. It's really light. It's probably gonna dry lighter. I'm adding polka dots. And it doesn't say firefighter at all. I think she could use a little more blush. Color in the whole face. Alright, so we'll just take the Posca and let this sit. Let's bring the zipper back out. Did I try and add colors? What's the color of lights? There's like a purple. So it would mean just going around it, right? Sorry, I keep getting really distracted and not noticing the camera turns off, but I've been coloring in the light, so I'll color in the white and just go on the outside to kind of give the illusion of it's glowy. I think that looks pretty good. I want this all to have more baby blossom. More baby blossom. I might have used this for this so that it matches the ones I'm about to add. I'll start with the center most one. Straight through to the bottom. Now we need to go straight across. Oh, he fit right into a square. Perfect. Probably should color this one. All right, next is the snow bits. Let's do the top edge. That's gonna have a lot. Oh gosh. It's gonna have a lot more though. And it's gonna kind of come around. Fill them in around like this. Now I'm gonna Google what that condensation stuff looks like. Essentially, it would go like around the areas where the tongue is. It'd be really concentrated. And then we'd come off from there. Oh yeah, I definitely mess up on that. It should be coming upwards. I wonder if I can kind of tweak it. I guess it's coming towards us. So just ignore that. Mm-hmm. I'll just leave that there. Problem is it needs to be more clear, you know? There you go. Now I can kind of see through it. The other thing I wanted to do is add some orange. I think it was like the light was over here. Maybe some here too. Am I done? Something about it still just doesn't feel right. Maybe she needs to be warmed up a bit. Try adding that more in. I'm also gonna use the Posca pen. All right, so here's my assessment. 
I like my thumbnail better. I don't think it's the colors that I messed up on so much, which is good because that's what my like goal was for today was to make good colors. Actually, you know what it might be? It just might be the perspective. Like I look at this and I, my brain can tell it's off even though you don't really specifically know exactly where it's off. But when I look at that, it looks right. <laughs> and then I think it's just the darkness. I think it's just so dark. I can't quite see some of the things that I found really charming about this idea, you know? I just need to improve my skills. Since I'm not that crazy how it turned out, I might as well add in the little lights at the top. All right, I think it's time to call it quits. I'll sign it just because I have to. Which means you're not allowed to touch it anymore. I want to thank you guys for watching. Come along with me as I experimented with color and uh, tried to create a finished illustration. I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to share my journeys with you and I hope you had fun. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!